Hi, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. Got a little unboxing to do here, sort of, and some news I wanted to share with you. The news is really simple. We've started our Dust Warfare series. This is a miniatures game. I'm really excited about doing this. I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could teach a miniatures game on the series and not drive everyone crazy in the process. It's a challenge not just for me to do, of course. It's also a challenge for you guys to watch because normally we do our instructional episodes in maybe one or two shows, and this one's going to be a little bit longer than that. Miniatures games tend to be a little more complex. I am trying to keep the episodes short. Uh, I think the longest one's probably going to have been the attacking episode, which was around 20 minutes. The rest of them should be closer to 10, 15 minutes long. I hadn't decided at the beginning of this whether or not I was actually going to do gameplay episodes as well. I knew I wanted to teach it. I wanted to show people who maybe were not familiar with miniatures games what kind of rules are involved, give them a taste of what it would be like to maybe try out a game like Dust Warfare and see if it would be interesting to them or not. Now I'm thinking that perhaps I will do at least one or two turns to just show how all those rules tie together in a very practical way. But we'll wait and see how things go. Now one thing I do know, after we finish Dust Warfare, I'm going to need to take a little break from the heavier miniatures game. So although Descent 2 won the decider's vote, and I'm really looking forward to doing that game, I am. I need a little break, I need to do something lighter, break it up a little bit, have a bit of variety. So I'm not sure what it will be, but we'll throw something else in there before we dive into something like Descent 2. Now, speaking of diving in, let's take a look and see what's inside of this box. This box came to us from our friends over at Passport Game Studios. You might remember that name. They're the ones who are publishing Takedo here in North America. We did a series on that. And Lene over there sent me a couple more games. And the first one, when you see it, you might have heard me talk about this one already. I actually already have a copy of this game, but I'm glad to have it again for a couple of reasons. One, the copy I got, I got when I got to Kaido, and both of them were used copies, and I can be a little bit OCD about the quality of my games and the condition I keep them in. So I'm quite pleased to have a brand new fresh copy. And the other copy that I have, maybe I'll give away as part of a contest or trade it for something else. We'll, we'll see how that goes. And the designer of this game, Stefan Feld, I've tried out one of his other games recently, Castles of Burgundy. He's done a bunch of games. Well, the game Castles of Burgundy, I quite look forward to trying again and again. So I'm, I'm interested in also checking this one out. Um, you might have heard of Ryan Metzler. I'm sure you have. He's a reviewer at the Dice Tower, very quality reviewer over there. And uh, he's a big fan of Euro games. And Trajan is definitely one of his favorite. So that's a pretty high recommendation. I'm really looking forward to diving into this one. Although, speaking of lighter games, this, I believe, it is not. So, what else is in here? Well, we've also got the game Kalua. This is a very differently themed game. This one, you're playing as the role of a god over an island, so are the other players, and you are trying to punish and reward the, <laughs> the inhabitants of that island to, uh, to sway them over to your way of being uh, and to get the most points. So, again, not like a theme I have in any of my other games, so I'm interested in trying this out and seeing how it goes. Plays with up to eight players. I don't have a lot of games that play that number of players. So, interesting to check that out. Lene, thank you very much again for sending these games to us. We certainly appreciate that and your support of the series. All right, so let me just clear some of this off because I want to get to this next box, which came from one of you, our kind and overly generous viewers. Uh, and I have a bit of an idea of what's in here um, because I talked to Christopher, the viewer who sent this to me in advance, um, but it's a lot bigger than I expected, so now I'm not entirely sure. I know the contents are written on the cover, and I've been avoiding looking at this. I hate spoiling stuff. I was not one of those kids who wanted to know what his Christmas gifts were before he opened them. I always loved the surprise of it, and the same here. Um, Christopher contacted me. We've talked quite a bit back and forth, actually. He was an avid commenter on our Facebook page, and um, he heard that I enjoyed skirmish-style miniatures games. And he's become a big fan of the game Malifaux, which is by Weird Miniatures. And he's been telling all of his friends about it, spreading it around in his community. And he contacted me one day and he said, listen, if you like skirmish games, I think you'd really like this, Rodney. And I'd love to be able to send you some stuff for Malifaux. And um, he just wanted to send it to me to check it out. No obligation on my part. I always appreciate that because, you know, it's really hard to commit to what sort of games will make it onto the show um, with our schedule. But I loved his enthusiasm for the game. I love miniatures, so I, I really appreciate him sending this along to me. I'm going to have to probably rip this open a little bit. Let me do that first, then I'll get you guys to come back and watch and see what's in the contents here. All right, the box is open. Fluffies are flying out. Uh, I always feel a little bit guilty when I open these boxes and I see fluffies in them, and Luke's not here to open the box with me, because I know he enjoys the fluffies just as much, if not more than the games inside the boxes, but um, sometimes because of our shooting schedule, the only time I can fit some of these in 
is to shoot when he's not here. Also, this game has a bit of mature content. Um, the theme is certainly mature. So if you're watching at home with your kids, this may be something that some of the graphics images may not be suitable. I don't know, because I haven't seen exactly what's in the box yet. But just fair warning. But let's get into this. Okay, so Fluffy's out of the way. And a note on top. All right, so oh, it says here, Hi, Rodney, I put together a crew here for you with Sonya as a master. A crew. Okay, so in the game, uh, I know a little bit about Malfo, and you have crews, and so that's sort of like your faction. And so you need, and look here, it's right on top. You need um, a crew box like this. This is for the guild faction, and it comes with a number of miniatures. So there's five miniatures here. And, um, well, that's great. Um, big rule book. Oh my goodness, he included the rule book. Okay, so I knew that, and a small rule book. I knew he was thinking about sending me the small rule book. He says, you know, handy, of course, having the small rule book. I did not know he was going to send me the full rule book with all the flop, all the background story stuff, all that juicy thematic stuff that you want to get into. Okay, um, and a fate deck. Right, a fate deck. Okay, so in the game Malifaux, instead of rolling dice, you have like a deck of cards, and you draw from that to get your numbers that you need. Another reason why I know a bit about this game is because my friends over at the Secret Cabal Gaming Podcast, I talk about them frequently, really like their show. Um, they like Malifaux. A lot of them, I think they all picked up some factions, so I hear them talk about it constantly. So that's another reason why I was interested in checking this out. So this is really everything that you need to get started, but there's still more. What does he say in here? Um, enjoy the models and let me know what you think of the story. Wow. Okay, so some additional models to put with the faction. Now, I've heard that. I've heard that sometimes you get a starter box. It's great for learning the rules and getting started, but if you really want to fill out your crew, you pick out a few of these extra guys as well. Three extra models. Christopher, what am I supposed to say here, man? This is altogether too generous. Oh, listen, thank you so much. Uh, I know exactly what it's like to have real passion for a game, want to share that with somebody. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I love miniatures games. Uh, I love learning about them, even when I don't get a chance to play them a lot. And in my local area, I'd like to get some miniatures gaming going. I know a couple people I think this theme would really appeal to. So this may be the opportunity I have to try to spread that a little bit in my local area. Oh, man. Um, along with Christopher, I want to thank all of you guys. I want to thank the kind publishers who send stuff to us. Really appreciate seeing the show support. It means a lot to me. It really helps keep me motivated to keep doing it. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know how it is. I, I, I never know how to really exactly say thank you except to keep saying it over and over again. So I'm going to stop. Stop saying it for now and, and leave you until the next episode. Thanks for watching.